Uluwalero parliament ya itidua Iranga wetu zetu saba Kuwanga kubade mulu umula Ya, ya sindi kwa chetu ita Jani insaindai Nga tutuma nyidiru wetu kumao Netu ganja ah, Nisongezi genda maa sayo wa na Uganda zibabu uza Iza senti zabu Izono ni wa parliament ya ino Na jukule mbele wa chiti wa speaker Natu gamba nida chukulu netu zogira ko Ya itidua uluwalero Ira mdabie Nisongezi no jinoko deyo Speaker nata nikuwa kwe vuza vuza. Ukusoka sose tulimba. Agambie. Anti kakati. Kati soke tumalizo kule inga ministry of policy statements. Wetuna amaliliza. Nisonge tugeenda jida ko. Ni mumulavi. Ulumaliliza. Ah, Najadi ya ninga. Naji sindika mrumula. Kumala weeks B. Echuchiva chavu limba. Tulimate kukula bintu. Ginali sobe vichi. Ayi kubango. Welo mkule mbeze. Osubi zechi intu kuflo. Noga katumalize chino. Tudeko echa. Tolo maliliza. Ah, noga manti kakati. Tumaliza tuvigadeo. Tuwachi speaker yei sabu hati. Of course, chila ganti ainacha hakuweka. Chila ganti wali wevi mutu demu nga iye. Kwe kwe vuzabu zoku. Ainane chayo gede wali na gama antikakati. Apo gede yo bichi. Tuwa kubanga. Uh, Tuwa iseteka. Eli ABC ya ga. Kwe kwe vuzabu za. Kupaka ticha gama antipadina Uganda. Ababa anje mbalida kusenti. Zayununa. Basi ya ga. Tulipikuwe vuzabu za. Wanda Uganda baku gamba. Ntine da sente za fe. Ezo muo msolo. Tunyonyule. Ngeri jozi sasa nyamu. Ngeri jemuzi kwa saka nyamu. Atika kati nga we vuzabu za. Sima nyaba siya ga. Hava zi. Nava siya zi. Nachi. Tulipikuwe vuzabu za. Wanda Uganda baku vuzi za sente. Zibasa sula. Ngabi uo msolo. Ngeri jozi sasa nyamu. Chichu ino kudamu. Mchifocho kwe vuzabu za. Na hefe nga fe. Tetugenda kusamu kono kusongena. Techino chitula zenti. Utukute. Uwali echinyo. Situ ina kunyue liza dala. Kwa umula banga ye vuzavu za na chi. E, kubanga. Aina viyata gala kudamu. Tuke nda kulemera ko. Mubuli ingeri yo na. Of course. Ni wanku badeka kakati ya tusindi se muru umula. Uluwe ingeri. Kumala wiki sibiri. E, Kufuro ya parliament yes. Tu vio geri lako. Netu ina nawa lala. Platform zendala zetu joko zesa. Ukubanja. Embali dira. Kuse ntezi no. Ate wiki sibiri zija kugu wako. Tujia koma weda. Tudemu tumujukize. Ngaruga mantinyabu. Waliwe tuwa li tuko miengo gambi tuke nda kudamu ni songa zino tuwa gala tu zogi leko. Nechi dale choku uza abuza cha gambi ni songa zino tuja zogi leko mkomisho ni. Halimba. Komisho ni tetu ulanga. Na muandi kile balu wa na ajidamu. Na gama ntika kati tuche halimu songa za budget na chii. Era komisho ni njaku tula. E yu mkuta ndika jula yu nukwe no yongira yu. E, kakati in the meantime sente zisa sanyibwa. Ya tula yenga ye komisho ni. Kufanga uwe wali no uzivu. Speaker ye chia person wa commission na isi ye commission tatu la nasa la honti kakati nze commission tutasanyi zino sende kupaka tivi ya limu kola so nga tuchia haba anja nso nga zino zino kuwa atibuwa mungeri ya chisajia chukuru bandana Uganda baga lo kutegira inanja gala kwewa za bandana Uganda kubanga nso nga zino bazide medeko bandana ite mpowa ite mpowa nga nafe buti zogira kuku wanga mula ba limitations zizili mparlament jaa kakati sinika yo choke deke chumala katude kuchilala na china chii Kakati chukula ganti, solutions tezija kufa just one on parliament. Fena jetuli yeyo. Amalo vozi tuongele, ogai musa, ngatu gamba nida. Senti yomu omu solo. Kuma waliwe vintu viola vikule wanga. Bicham. Speaker muna ku chukumi inkaga munya. Yatambula mawange yeyo. Nasa suli wa obu umbi bubiri numidioni lukaga. Kakati ena ku chukumi inkaga munya. Chibanga chitundu cha mwaka. Mbuspeaker ya lita liwo kumale banga lioneli. Si chitufu. Kwa chiba chitegeza anti. Sente zino. Nwa kubadete ya tambule ya wifo vino. Na ya zifuna. Hatenga sente mpichi divuwezo. Kubanga. Zaino kufuna. Zino nyingi nyo. Kwezo. Zaino kufuna mateka. Walu obu umbi obu lala. Mwenda. Ne milioni. Luenda. 9.9 bilioni. Izate kebwa. Kwa kaunti si zaba kozi wanova. Kuiso bore. Naba lala. Naba lala. Kula mofisi ye. Nibazi jayo. Nibazi mutu walida. Nti. Zino za kola activities za speaker. Chiri wecho mateka. Atinga tuga amanti obu umbibuno. Mutuwe mbali zida. Kwa sende ya muomu solo. Wanuwali wo contract. Eno contract. Yajiwa radio ye e bukedia. Jibaita mama bukedia FM. Contract ya abu umbibu satu. Bu milioni chikumi mua satu. Bago verida miteni la cheja procurement. Okuwa radio ya speaker. Contract ye eno mbukole milimu ya pala in parliament. Ati nechila la, haba signinga contract ya ino. Ngaba manager ba radio. Bakula wano mufisi ya speaker. 
kakambulia bebi intunga biachia hii so tule mera kwa tule mera kwa kubanga tu inabui no kusonga zino ida anga tu agaloku diwam na ika na agalo tegeira insonga zino zaji zitia so ne wana buza buza wano kufloe ya pali ya menti ba na yuganda tsigarenga tu imsama lovozi gafenga tu gamanti ah insonga zino kuru o kubanga waliwo waliwo sende zivira mateka ti Okay, speaker, yes, I know from Salago, I know from Alawa and says he, Naji, is a city to get an aco. Nika Cativino, it will get a covino, a women yamateka. To a galopunio, Nolebo, a langa, Tetugenda, Samocono, to Jacule Miraco, Paca. Go with Walla, Mikakuanga, Fetwa Saba, Parliament, eight way to demo to Tule, Natua Galoco get a consong as you know. What you must say, Mussete said is all Saba. Of course, we not to see Nangi in the Banga. Eh, by Yava City Caliba, it is which I have with your name Buza. Yet you gain a mass. Anyway, Nessiva Faco, a finitu Yakubanga, Tino Bunanzo, Ok to Kiriza. Of course, but it did. But it did, um, Kubanga, my man songs to gain the Zid and Mirako, Yaka Kubido Mulanga, Wakaba Nangi. Our position inside the Jenku and Beda, Nemunangi never in our room. To let me could see what he see were. Always between her and his speaker, I know we in the wound. Kakati ya waka abamu, abamu tia, abamu si uli omu, kwa waka abamu mbala wanga wogela, ni abamu mbamu tia. Ebu ina yugela kunzonga, zimu speaker tajia kumpa chance kuogela, mpala menti. Speaker tajia kuhunzi kiliza, ngeende, ntuavulinge kunyonyi na chukubabu lichimu ya achia proving, abu lichimu. Niweba constant, netaka cost ogena na ababaka, ukulondole ni mjia government, speaker ya eno kwa proving. Kakati ya abamu, mbamu tia, kuruwecho, na inja kwa kubiliza, baba kaba nange, tuleme kutia, abamu tu ino kutia. Beba lonza abatu sindika wano speak ono munafe, mkule mbeze munafe, mwaka munafe, nyolo kubanga kakati ya londi wanafuka speaker. Na ye, aino kutuwe chitiwa, ilati tuina kumutia. Tuina na yo kumuwe chitiwa, ulua office jari, na inga tuino kubanja ukudibuwa muku msonga zino. So, ulusu wabelo kutisiwa, tisiwa, abaka abamu gabani zo kutuwa na uko gira kumsonga zino, abamu nebaga manti, ah, senyo nyaga vage nda kugira kwebio, ah, ah, ah. Sija kula wiki kako obachi. Butu kula wetu chiu. Banda Uganda abatu teka mo wesike. Tujua wa ntupa chiki dide. Tupa tupa lide mo ulukwe. Ilanja gala kweba zombaka. Uh, kiyo do se chukubu wa NRM. Na ya gami jine da nisonga zino. Za muwa musolo. Tezidi mo opposition NRM. Za muna, muna Uganda. Ilanga nja gala kusawa waka banange. Bona. Aba opposition ya ba NRM. Tuchituwale wetu chiu. Nje nisonga zino. Za banda Uganda. Kupa zino sente za abu. Okay, chuchu, kanzile mungi demu. Ente kateka jetu badena yu. Kuwanga, speaker tuwa mutegeza. Ida nitusaba. Parliament ya itiwe. Nitugama nituwa galo kujo kutesa kunsonga zino. Eza sente yomu omu solo. Engeli jeyo no nebua. Echizimbe chino parliament. Nadalo kusingi dadala office ya speaker na yengo omu ndu. So chetu tutupa denga. Tutupa denga tutupa denga tutupa denga. Fetu wasaba. Parliament ya itiwe. Kupamuru umula. Ida chetu zokula. So... Uvali undozo chukudola abata deo deployment ya ama nyitali ya bulijona chie bebi ya wetu wali buzi unaye. Techitugana kutukiliza vunanyizu wa wafe. Ngaba baka. Ukugira kunsonga. Ezidu mabana Uganda abatu sindika wano. Ukubachi ikidida. Kupaka kati bobo gamanti. Ukujo kutesa kunsonga. Ezidu mabana Uganda kubira kutata ganyo. Echumbasi chitegi hila. Feche tuwala ambika. Ilanga techitukweka. Tuwa gamba parliament ya iti wetu ugele kunsonga zino. Ila chukudola na imuse ni inza anjula. Speaker Nathan Kokwe Buzabuzanga Wee Buzabuzanga Wee Buzabuzanga We have been following the happenings and the people of Uganda demanding for accountability regarding the taxpayer money. And as uh, legislators, we have said we've got to voice our concerns over these issues. We ask that Parliament be recalled because it was adjourned, signed, die. So we're in a mini recess of sorts. We said it's important that we return and talk about these issues. And we are glad that Parliament was recalled today because we would use that as an opportunity to discuss issues of accountability that are being asked by the people of Uganda. I did raise the issues, as you saw, and the speaker began to scapegoat, began to try and push them under the carpet, which is a dangerous thing, really. I want to advise the speaker, don't hide away from accountability issues, because otherwise then, you look like you are guilty. Yeah? Um, even the Bible says the guilty run when no one is chasing them. So don't run away from these issues. Otherwise, the message you're sending to the people of Uganda is that you're guilty. Because the speaker began by saying, okay, I've listened to you, let's first lay the ministerial policy statements, and then after that, we discuss that issue. 
immediately after that, she adjourned the house. Why, why is she behaving in such a surreptitious manner? Why, why is the speaker becoming a blatant liar? Because we are leaders, you know, that, that, that plenary, when we sit, it's serious business. So when you make a commitment that after we have laid the ministerial policy statements, then we are going to move to that other issue, and you turn out to be a liar, that means Ugandans are saying, indeed, the issues we are seeing out there are true. Because the way you're using taxpayer money, now you're even telling lies on record, it's, it's very unfortunate. I also heard the speaker say that, you see, the people who are raising these matters, it's because um, I insisted on the Anti-Homosexuality Act. Give us a break, Madam Speaker. Stop hiding under the issue of homosexuality. Because are you saying that Ugandans who are demanding for accountability for their money are homosexuals? Is, is that what you're saying? And that's why they are demanding? Oh, come on, let's, let's be serious. Stop scapegoating. No one is talking about homosexuality and all of that. Ugandans are saying, account for this money. So stop pretending around that you see they don't like me. And no, it doesn't matter whether people, you know, the citizens like you or not. What matters is that you occupy a public office and you are misusing their tax money. Can you respond to those critical issues? Because, and the issues that we weren't responded to, the speaker in a period of 164 days traveled and spent 2.6 billion shillings. How? Because the speaker, you know, when you tabulate those days, that's about half a year. The speaker has never been away for six months. When did she travel? Because it would mean she actually did not travel, but she claimed for this money it was paid to her. But number two, even what was paid is exorbitant. Because the per diem of the speaker is known, it's 990 US dollars. But when you look at how much she's paid, 2.6 billion in 164 days, that's over 4,000 US dollars per day. How? Who approved that? It does not make sense at all. When you see 9.96 billion shillings that was put on the accounts of staff of parliament, including the spokesperson of parliament, Chris Obore, and they withdraw this money and take it to the speaker, apparently it's for the speaker's activities. Which activities? This is a lot of money that we are talking about. We want to know, that's why we're demanding for accountability. Which activities are those? Who approved them? Who gets to audit them? Can we have accountability? And why are billions of shillings, taxpayers' money, being put on the accounts of staff members? It is wrong, it is illegal. And we're saying we want accountability. This is a contract which was given to the speaker's radio station in Bukedia. It's called uh, Mama Bukedia FM. It's a contract worth 3.13 billion shillings to do parliamentary work, apparently, whatever that gets to be, within a year. Were procurement regulations followed? Which ones? How, how much are these other media houses which relay the work of parliament and so on? How much do you media houses get to be paid? Why is the speaker's media house being given 3.13 billion shillings? Okay. Maybe there were specific issues of advertising and so on. What procurement regulations were followed? That other radio stations expressed interest and the speaker's radio station, you know, turned out to, the, the, to be the most suited. But even more problematic, this contract here, the people who signed as managers of the radio station of the speaker are staff members in her office here. How does that make sense? And when we ask questions, you're saying, ah, it is homosexuals fighting me. Give us a break. Respond to these issues. That's what we are saying. That's what the people of Uganda are demanding for. And again, the scapegoating of, you see, the issues will be handled in the commission. The commission does not sit. I'm a member of the commission now. I've never sat in any meeting. We are told it last started in August last year. When I wrote to the speaker, the speaker wrote back to me saying that the earliest the commission can meet is after June 30th. So in the meantime, who operates as the commission? Who approves all these things? Does, does the speaker imagine that she is the commission so she can sit alone and approve these things? No. She is simply the chairperson of the commission. She is not the commission. And she needs to know this. So we are going to insist demanding these issues. Um, because now she has again sent us, you know, on recess for two weeks. It does not take away the issues. If she thinks that she will buy time and push them under the carpet and, and so on, it will not work. And I want to appreciate Ugandans who continuously speak out. Do not stop asking for accountability because this is your money. The speaker should not, you know, pretend and say, you know, I'm, I'm being fought, people don't like me. It does not matter whether people like you or not. They're asking you to account for their taxpayer money. And so 
who will keep stepping up the pressure, and uh, even the two weeks will elapse, and we shall be back. We are not going to drop this issue, if that's what she thinks was going to happen. Um, yes, we are the ones who did ask that Parliament reconvene uh, to discuss these matters, among others. Of course, when we came, we saw heavy deployment that rarely happens. Um, I don't know, but that's their business. It doesn't matter. We put everybody on notice that we want to raise these issues, and that's what we came to do, because that's within the law for us to do that. Um, so there should be no, I, I, I don't know, whoever thought that we have come to cause chaos. So we came to execute our mandate, which the people of Uganda entrusted us with, which is to be their voice, to ask for questions, to be responded to regarding their money. Um, so whatever it is that people imagined, I don't know, I don't care. We came to do that. Mm. Yes, we, we, we have an interesting situation here. We have a speaker who has overarching powers, too many powers, which, which is problematic. Um, and that's why some people fear the speaker. Some, not everybody, uh, because as you can see, some do voice their concerns. I want to appreciate the Honorable Sechukubo for speaking out. He's an NRM member. And I'm calling on everybody in the House, not just the opposition. Even you in the NRM, these matters concern you too. Because this is taxpayers' money that should be helping your people whom you represent in your constituencies. So all of us should be concerned about these matters. Okay? But um, yes, truth is there are some MPs who fear the speaker because of the overarching powers that she has. Uh, some will say, ah, I fear to speak out on these issues because the speaker will not give me a chance to speak on the floor. Or that the speaker will not grant me an opportunity to travel. Because everything has to be approved by the speaker. Travels, field visits, even when I need a coaster to go with members of parliament for a field visit to play an, our oversight role. The speaker is the one to approve. Uh, so all those powers is what causes some people to fear. Um, but I'm, I'm calling on the people of this institution, the leaders in this institution, let's not be fearful. If anything, the only people we should fear are the voters who sent us here. The speaker is not the one who got us here. She's one of us. Okay, she's one of us. We should fear and um, hold in very high regard the people who sent us because they require us to demand for answers. So my hope is that we shall all get to speak out, both opposition and the NRM, because matters of taxpayer money should concern all of us. So I appreciate Honorable Sechikubo for being bold. I call upon others to be bold. This should not just be an issue of Senyo Nyi and the opposition. No, it's for all of us. Yeah, two things. Um, obviously, as we keep stepping up the pressure, as, as I said somewhere, when you fight corruption, it fights back. And, and that's okay. I've seen people releasing documents saying Honorable uh, Senyo Nyi had his brother to be his driver, officer assistant, his sister-in-law, and that kind of thing. I said I challenge anybody to, to prove that I have a relative. Yeah, I don't have a single relative operating in my office, not even a distant relative, not even a far-fetched relative. Yeah, because, and I was deliberate about this, because um, I can't preach water and then drink wine. As I demand, that we should fight nepotism, I can't practice it here too. So I don't have a single relative, but people will produce things and so on. Uh, I'm, I'm told there are, there are things I'm yet to see, actually. Um, I've not seen some of the documents being shared, whether it be about money and, and so on. I'm yet to see some of these things. A lot has been put out there. What, what's important is, yes, as members, we do get paid our salaries, allowances, and, and, and so on. Um, what is shared, I need to have a good grip and see what, what are people sharing. But yes, we can't run away from the fact that, yes, we do get paid, salary, allowances, even for the offices that we do occupy. And that's why I have been saying we should be contented. I'm getting a salary and allowances. Then I should not be awarding myself a lot more money in a surreptitious manner, because what I get should be enough. And that's my call to colleagues, you know. What we get should be enough. Members of parliament are some of the highest paid people in this country. Let's, let's not be overly greedy. And as you hear, people are going to this one's home to pick money, or going to this office to pick money. Let's be contented with what we have. It should be enough. I know that members of parliament have got so many pressures. Because when government is absent, uh, members of parliament are the ones, you know, we, we build roads, we are buying hospital equipment, we are doing all manner of things. Operate within your limit, because you cannot give an excuse and say, 
I am stealing so that I help my people. It, it is not a defense, yeah? So operate within your minutes. The salary we are paid and the allowances and so on, work within that to do what you need to do, projects, you know, uh, for your people. Because when you overshoot that, and that's why members of parliament are always in jail. They are being arrested by money lenders and so on because they are doing a lot more than they should. Let's press government to deliver services so that you don't have to go under pressure and then you end up digging your hand in the cookie jar. It can't get in Muruganda. Omanyi bolwanyi senguzi na ye kulwanyisa. Chovu dola ba abamu katipata ni sene propaganda ni naka wandiko kena la vienga abamu bagambanti senyo nyi ya wa Muganda wa mulimu wa driver na wa Muganda wa mchala wesi manyo wa office assistant na chibi ya mulimba. Mufise eno sina mumu ntubwe nina kuka kuwate. Sina muganda wange, sina muganda wa mchala wange. Ni waba wabachi chizivwe, wabachi distant relative, temuli. Ilechu na chukula chigende lile kubanga, sinza kubanga, ngamba bali mwete li zimulikira ukule vintu vino ngate nangi chenkula. So, na ipo paganda wajia muta ambuza nyuiti zoke, ngabu mba gami, jivuluwa nyuse nguzi, na ija kuluwa nyisa. Ila bingi vajio kuwandi kako, na chi, uh, mpuli dengu mkulu wa gambi, nti, wali wakatambula, nti, Simanya mfunane sente zino na chi, we, njia katulida sinda kala. Vinje vizi vitambula na ye, chesijia kwe kanti ye, situfu no msara. Nitufu nani alawe nsezi. Kuzi ofisi zino zetu vila mu. Chofudola ba, numiniza nyabo, ofu no msara, ofu na alawe nsezi, atino gamba kane yonge li zota ina kufuna. Nenda kofu na kakumale. Kakumale tuvele, na, tuleme kululu mkana, tuvele, tuleme kubela na mululu. Yes, in Chimani, in Abaka, twin pressures in Yinj, Kuanga government, Yotekola, China Kola, Kakati to Zimba, Engudo, Tugula, Evita, and Dani Dagala Malwa, Lido, Ambulance, which Yinj, the Chow Dola, Abaka, Babamo, Baba Sivanyo, Money Lenders, Kuanga, pressures in Pitti Vu. Naye, Chicha Mugamanti, Kanziva Kuanga, and Jagala Kuwe is a band to Bang in Edda. Um Sala got to Fanayala when says he, Kusesako, will have been giving you Kuban to Vu, Nirango Manu in our in Okoma, otherwise, we just mubi. Kubanga, to the government into your go in Okola, you to be living now. To the medical government, a college to chain Okola. Near is Nava Kulembezi, so look Yambabantu. Ne operating Gidamwa, Kokolina, Omusala, allowances in a chi, or very no Kumarua. As a party, we do have offices um, in various parts of the country which are functional and operating. A couple of other offices are operating under distress. The occupants, the office assistants in those offices are always on the run, a number of them. They are chasing after them. You know, you, why do you operate with NEP? Why do you work with them? And, and so on, they intimidate them and do all manner of things. So you find that some of our office people are in hiding. Sometimes they'll open the office a little bit and then, you know, they'll close it for a few days because they're, they're always on the run. We are treated like an illegal entity. And, and that's why there are those challenges. Some places where we had even opened offices, and it became, came to be known, you find a landlord coming back and saying, ah, I've been intimidated, I can't give you office space here. Here is your money, so we end up having to look for another place and so on. Those are the difficulties under which we operate, um, and we are cognizant of that, but we keep moving nonetheless. If they are threatening our office assistants and so they can't open the office throughout the entire day and they have to be on the run and that kind of thing, we've got to find other ways of operating. But we are saying, government, stop operating illegally. Mr. Museveni's son, who is a serving military officer, is going across the country doing political work. And it seems to be okay, yet it is illegal. But they keep persecuting a registered political party. Um, but, but nonetheless, we'll keep moving. Difficult as the circumstances are. Nge <laughs> we, we We did see... You know, there are many fraudsters in this town, eh? And uh, they keep operating in, in fraudulent manners. I saw a gentleman called Balam, another one called Gashumba, uh, who are known fellows within this town and the kind of things that they do. So they went to Masaka and apparently hired a shop and then they put, you know, said this is uh, NUOP, NUP office which has been captured. Our offices in uh, those areas are known. This was not one of them. Of course, sadly, is that uh, some of them are now dealing with some of our leaders, some of our elected leaders in some of these areas, whether quietly 
or dealing with them publicly and, and so on. But let, let people not be hoodwinked by these frauds. Yes, in Gachivina, to win as the office, we don't be a guang, we in Jaulo. Iranga Zitam Zemirim. Of course, as we turn the Bimu Babati Satisa, Katiabako Ramzu of Isezo, Babati Satisa, Babanonia, and Chikakati Mue, Vatimu Kuragana, NUP, Muitachi, Kugamba Babila, Kuduka Duka, Office of Rumuni Vajikurao, Ula Nevaji Gala Kubanga, but other disobey over disobani, Baba Wenya. It's me, I'm a take a Kubanga, Fitulichi in each one. Ike. So, we will move it out, we say, Ebimu, we talk about the office, Ezimu, Kakati, Abanemu government in the Vati Sati Sabara and Road, the Abamu, land loading at Janagamba, by Ah, sentence and we can't see what is it? Sijak Sola, you know, Kuver and office here, Mukizimbe Change, Kuanga, Banti Sati Sizamun and Sasida, Katangatina Kunonia office and Dalana Chi. So, we will see what you eat among. Nay, of course, Chimenyama taker. Chime nyama teka kumanga, mutaba ni wama ya musebe ni, yeta li guanga, oyono mnama ji, chime nyama teka. Nika akati fe, HV na H1 ike, baba tulime sobiko, lalu wakutia. Wakutia kubanga wama njiba na Uganda, bako u, na uba gala nchuka chuka. So vajia sigalanga bako levi nitu evyo, no kutule mesa, na nitu sigala tutambula. Nti ofisi ya fe, ni uba na kanga kwa anga wu, abajikola muo, lusi nga tebani, tebaja kubeda u, na chi, tu sigala tutambula, kubanga vinji bitu isemu. Echo kuti sati saba kula mzo ofisi za fe, wava landi rodi, kuzigala, wabachi. Echo ni unachitono nyo. Tufiri duwa haba antu betu zise. Haba labali makomera. Haba tupai nevi sago na chiso vinji betu isemu, vinji betu joku hitamu. Lwa kubela kumazima na ye. Tusigala tutambula, tuinde, tukulechu, tuinokula. Na uli de masaka. Um, Manyu wali waba ferevanji mugwanga ya feri, no? Dala wano mchivuga, katu wata nisokenda mbitu nivye gwanga, vienja ulo. Gabacola, over Fedewa, we were room, said Jonah, it were a balam, no more like a shumba, and I got a man you better rock for our nom chibuga. Baggins in Masaka, you never fly a caduca. Ela Ninico never muayo, Cucassente, but a coming pan and catch an office here, any pitch you want. The offices are paid, the money kid do us. So, um, it took some lungi about his affair, Masaka, and in between the Villa, Abba Fedeva money. Of course, our Fedeba no, a Jom Xomu or Lucy Bacolagana now could embezzle a fee, Abamu, Abalo, Nebua, Abambach Colamu, Kutu, Obamuwa to Nachi, Naye, a chink is a new baby, and to Iranga, Kakasaban, to put a Jacob would deceive our Fedeba. Yeah, um, the issue, the, the lead of opposition, Honorable Joe Sayon, raised a very uh, critical matter to do with the, the role of Parliament you know, as the vanguard of accountability. And it was, um, uh, and it was of the view that the, what we have seen, the goings on, especially as regards the, 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 the position of parliament within the public needs to be, there need to be a conversation about those issues. And I see, of course, the leader of opposition had a very important point, because, you know, uh, we have an English adage which says, uh, what is good for the goods, it should be good for the Uganda. As a parliament, I sit on the, on the committee of, of park law government, and, and time and again, we are putting the district law governments on task to account for, for resources, you know, um, appropriated to them in a very, very transparent manner. You know, so in a, a way which shows that there has been a value for money. Now, we have been insisting that the entities, districts, law governments do this. You know, in the same way, in the same vein, we should also be doing, uh, to, we should also be seen to do exactly the same. We should not be preaching uh, 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 water when for us we are drinking wine. If we are preaching, if we are, if, if we are preaching wine, then that's the way which all of us we should be drinking. You know, if we are preaching water, we should be drinking water. If we are preaching wine, we should be preaching wine. We shouldn't be seen to be having double standards. So uh, the, the speaker promised that he's going to avoid an opportunity for this, all these issues to be uh, 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 discussed uh, here in the House. And this is, this is encouraging. We are looking forward to this uh, to happen. But otherwise, the leader of opposition raised a very pertinent point, which is, I think, has the, the support of a broad spectrum of, of members. Here in this house. 
kwegamba kwe pale nyo point yeyo omukuru wa leader of opposition Joy Senyonyi alese nsonga ekwata ku mbera parliament jeba demo mu wiki zino na dala ekifana nyi engwa bo chiba de ebuyerwe yo na de bade bitinga na ko social media ko chi nga byona bi castinga kundi bi teka toche mu mu nziru kanya chize mu parliament na dala mukusasanya esente wa ku parliament wa of course your point is at the point in kulu kubanga ka fe nga parliament fwe kwe gamba fwe kwe kwe gamba tulinga center e ya ensonga ya accountability okoze sabulungi is you know center ne bintu ebirala byona mu government no lwecho kati nganze atula mu kachi kwa kalondola ensasaka nya center mu gundu mu government ze bitundu mchimanyi de tubade government gundu districts nyinyi ka tuziteka kuninga zitulake ka bonsa sanyiza sente anga tufa nga tufa nyo kulaba ati sente zetupa wa nga nga parliament zikosebwa bulunji kakati bobango okola bwoti ocha kitegeza ati na era na na namwe abachikola ne muwagala namwe era mukola chi mbenga namwe mukola echidu chechemu si kumuzunga gamba ati not do as i as i say not as i do no do as i do ngabo tu chetwagala chikolebwe mu public na chetwa sande kola wano nga mu parliament no lje chetu accountability leader voice of charles mukulse nyonyi chikulu era tusobira tsipenga bwa gambe wajakuba wakasera ba members bachi 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 teseko tuchiteseko wano mu house tulabe ngabo tutambula ate ne linya lya free parliament ngabo tuli ngabo tuli tanja kola bantu ti dibiranga era yediyo nga nge esiga eriyo kubiri Mugwanga. Of course, I am satisfied. I am satisfied with what happened in the House today. We came to pass the budget. We've already discussed the budget and concluded it. So budget has its timeline. We've done it because I've had several people who are interested in seeing members discussing about what is happening on social media. More so what, the, what this so-called uh, uh, parliament, parliamentary exhibition. Parliament is an independent institution. If there are errors, if there are mistakes which are committed by either members of parliament or by the administration of parliament, they know where to go. That's the, that's the IGG or Auditor General in case of queries. So as a member of parliament, I, would, I wouldn't think that's probably right for us to come and discuss on what is happening on social media. If they are there, let them be there. If you have our PR, it, our PR can respond to what is happening on social media if they have time. But you cannot blame me. As you members, you are here. Why is it that you, you don't discuss about public opinions? Everyone is entitled to his or opinion on social media. Because not every allegation on social media is true. There are several allegations which I've seen, which have to be responded to. But of course, you cannot, you cannot respond on social media media raised issues on the floor of parliament, they will look at you as being dormant or idle. Why can't you raise issues which are in line with the, with the current of parliament? Issues as regards to accountability, the accusers know where to go. There are courts, there is IGG department, and then there is Auditor General, including those specific individuals which are, uh, who were accused of such kind of misuse of funds. They, go, they can go to social media and try to respond. Because if you want to say that every accusation came to Parliament as an institution, there are some accountability issues which never went to Parliament as an institution, but they are supposed to go to specific individuals. They are the ones who are supposed to go and answer such allegations. But you can't tell me that Parliament should go and start discussing about social media allegations. Parliament has its own calendars. However, if there are issues which are supposed to be answered on the floor of Parliament, those, those culprits should go and answer them. If they have not answered them on the floor of Parliament, there is still time. They can raise them anywhere. Okuso kera dala waluwe chitali chitofu. Era enei saya speaker era zenti waluwo ebibuzo ebitagala kudivuamu. Ebifu zevyo eno pali ya menti ya abantu. Abantu hawa benjini febetu wangali damu era bebali ku social media. So social media abantu wabata 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 asobola kujia kumakubo. Nibasala huo kwe kalakasa mungeri eyo luna kuruwa lero. Ate nutuwa ndiva defe tuje embrace inga nga pali ya menti. Na yes speaker inkola yeye milimu yuluna kuruwa lero. Eyo kutuka kasanti agenda 
kutuwa mukisa okogera ku nsonga zino ate na adjaninga house mpaka 28 chira gantu waliwe chitali chitufu era bana Uganda bonna bonna ndo za mukisera kino bandi bade office ebongero jiteka ko eliso na ena fe tugenda kulinda mpaka nga 28 na yate tugenda ku gearinga up public ebere concerned kubanga zino sente za muwa musolo tewali ngeri yo nnajo gama ante nsonge zivudde mu bantu teziba nsonga za mbavu kubanga zise mu mukutu gwa social media na yate twalaba ko ne deputy speaker nga tuli ku nsonga za potholes ebinya mu kibuga Kampala nga avayo nga referringa ku tweets in exhibition ezibade zigenda mu maso so chibera chi chiraga ntu waliwo ekikwekebwa era speaker chata yagala kujayo echiri very wrong for the country echitakirizi wana dalala mulembe nga guno well uh, it is very sad that the speaker acted in such a manner and it raises a lot of suspicions you cannot assure members that you are going to address their concerns uh, raised on issues of the parliamentary exhibition. A uh, lot of uh, questions on the accountability and how parliament is being managed and how the, the office of the speaker is being run. And uh, we have seen so much allegations concerning uh, public uh, payers' money. It is very sad that the speaker decided to adjourn the house till 28th. This is not a proper way of addressing and uh, issues, especially raised by a member of uh, parliament, a leader of opposition, and so many of us thought we are going to be given a chance. But calling off uh, immediately has, uh, has raised a lot of suspicions uh, because the speaker assured us that we shall be discussing this very issue. In a blank of a minute, she adjourned the House to 28th. It raises a lot of suspicions to all Ugandans that something is wrong, eyes must be kept in the office of the speaker, and the allegations must be true. When you see somebody acting in such a manner, then be less assured that these allegations are true. Uh, Parliament, you are to to the Sovira, again, the Cossessida, Ezumukun Songa, Ezunoko Dwayo, who are two Abe Wade, who are the Bagobe Song, and the Balago Briak and Okenus, Nesa Sana, Eche, Nonero, again, a mass on Parliament, and each to Quasi Zenaku, the Speaker, and Songa Julie De, Game Weber, Omukua to Columbia Honorable Joe Senyon. Na hii na asala huo, ukujiwa kasera kumasa ujuku baga nyake hivyo uzo. Echita sovose, na wanga adja ninga hausa, ukuba na tugenda mu komitize, zenja ulo, ukuba nga tukole imirimu. Na hii chena kuchira ganti, bageza huo kwe wala, echitufe chogedwa, chino chongiru kaka santu, wali huo obuli yake, wali huo buchamu, ubugenda maso. Na hii batide, ukuba antibavayo, ukuogera, obo bube njini njini, ukwe kuba mutochi. Kwa hivyo ntuye tuogera huo, baga mba parliament, teso wa kutesa, ngeetesa kubintu ebili mu mungambo oba ebiri ku mitimbagano oba ku mikutu ya social media naye tuchimanye bulungi nti commissioner wa parliament ene honorable zake francis yejiwa mu kufo cha commissioner ngekosebwa parliament yo ngekubirizibwa speaker yinyi olwa statement je yakola ku mitimbagano ogwa twitter oba ku subirizibwa eh, kwanti yakolebwa ku mitimbagano gwa twitter olwa lero ali mu kachiku ke byempisa era ku nsonga ezimutekebwa kwanti yakola nga tali mu parliament wabulanga ali bweru ne bilabikira mu butambi bwasa sana Committee bagano agenda ulo so na fetu gamanti mungeli yemu kwa parliament ya teka we nkola ino kujigo vedera tu ino kukiriza nti unobu juli zijebuli abantu yibu ugira bitufu sente za abantu zibidua parliament edinga kati uh, e, e, sibuko oba edinga ange insaka, insaka ya ababi divika tuti ya nuku ugira nti muna ye ndi mbaka parliament kwa uluwocho ugira umuntu alaba umuntu abie sende za maru aliro abie sende ze ngudo abie za masomero ati haba mkubanga wetu papa sala wonti ensimbi zino zigende wano zino zigende wano na yate nga febe njini njini faa bali mkubba faa bali kusa feka feka chongi lukula gechipana nje chichamu so vinawe wako la speaker ageza kwa kwe wale nsonga na yetu kiliza nti siye ngeri yetu ya ino jiku watamungi na kuzo mweza bini munaana parliament ingeze muzi kiliza tuge nda kujira nga waludo rufuganya na haba baka ya wei ni arema haba lumiridu wabu wanga lino uganda ilaba luoza anti parliament esumulu kubanga evu nuka wabai esumulu kubanga kubwa mutochi tuja kujangi ilatu maliri de wakaka santufuna ansa entufu kubichibe tu yeah, uh, today, Parliament was adjourned prematurely because uh, we tried to put a question to the Speaker about the, uh, the, the rumors and all the things, the allegations against Parliament that we have evidenced and seen on social media, especially on X up uh, being uh, exposed in the exhibition, the, Par the Uganda Parliamentary Exhibition. Yes, she had promised that she would give it a chance to be debated and uh, for members to have their input heard, uh, but uh, some of the members rose on procedure claiming that parliament cannot debate in anticipation since most of the allegations are seen on social media and uh, they don't have any uh, stand or proof they can provide on, or the leader can lay on table. But we questioned the parliament and we, we were like, no, the speaker 
led the, the, the impeachment or the censure of uh, Commissioner Honorable Zake Francis Butebi. And, and it was under allegations that she is, he insulted the speaker by a statement he made on his social handle on Twitter. Then also, he's also in the rules committee under the disciplinary committee uh, looking at the issue of Honorable Zaka and Chinyamatama. And these evidences were on the social media. The statements he made, or he's alleged to have made, were on social media. No one has proof that he, he made it, maybe on the floor or in the premises of parliament. But we accepted that to be given as evidence. Yet we, when we come to scrutinizing the leadership of parliament, the expenses of parliament, we believe we can now depend on hearsay or on the, the, the evidence that is produced on social media. Yet parliament itself cannot come out to pronounce and give these evidences to the people. So we have to go by what is available. Come uh, 28th of May, uh, of March, uh, when parliament is resuming, we are going to put it to task that the lead of opposition comes out strongly with the, back, uh, the backing of the members from the opposition and those in the NRM that feel like, yes, Parliament need to be touched. We need to do an oversight on our institution because the image of the Parliament is falling outside there. Members feel uncomfortable pronouncing themselves that they are members of Parliament to the public, to the society, whereby the society looks at, at us as thieves, people who have stolen the, the medical uh, money, those who have stolen money meant for schools, many money meant for the roads, for everything. It is us that are being looked at as, as uh, corrupt. So the speaker is trying to dodge, but this will not divert us. And this is not the right way. She has to handle this. Let, it, let the matter be given enough time. Let members be heard. Let everyone give their submission. And let her defend the institution if she feels that she can give a defense that can give uh, a vote of confidence to the public. But for us, we are going to stand strong and firm on the issues we are speaking about.